hi guys so welcome back to another video in today's video we are playing in makeup per usual i wanted to just play in makeup there's no i don't need to make this long i just wanted to play in makeup so if you want to see how i got this look the products i use and all of that make sure you keep on watching but first if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified every time i post new videos and i'm out of here peace out bye y'all all right guys let's jump right into it and prime the face i'm gonna take my elf triple bounce serum and i'm gonna use that today as one of my primers this thing is so moisturizing Ooh, i have to make sure to not put so much because i'll go over more. i will go over more. i just love for my skin to be moisturized Yeah. Your skin really needs it, especially in the summertime for me. I know most people say wintertime their skin dries out, but it's the summertime for me. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to use my e.l.f. Cookies and Dream today primer because the foundation I'm using is a kind of matte primer. So I just want to make sure I'm really moisturized. Elf, you brought the jelly pop back, but I don't hear a lot of people talking about the jelly pop. I know I have it. I have one somewhere around here. And it was really good when I first had it. But I don't feel the same way I feel about the cookies and dreams. For a foundation, I'm going to take my Chanel Longwear in 121. I have to watch it. <laughs> sometimes it want to pump out and sometimes, you know, the top can get kind of gunky. Let me make sure I clean it all because they be trying to spray it everywhere. And we can't waste this. This just can't be going everywhere. Yeah, you got to get like in the top and get clean it out. All right, let's see. Yeah, better. This is one that I know is going to give me coverage and I don't have to pack it on. And it's the perfect shade. Don't have to mix it. Don't have to color correct because the coverage is full. As you can see, perfect color, right? I've been in love with this foundation. I got this foundation, I want to say, from an airport. Like this is my second one, I believe. The first one I got from an airport, the second one I brought from Alta. Once I fell in love with it. Okay, we're going to let that sit. Wow, we do the eyes today. So let's take some of our e.l.f. eyeshadow primer first. Just a little bit. You just need a dot because this is going to melt into your skin. 
so you just need a little bit and make sure you get that you get transition area make sure you put in like primer there okay now take a little bit of my elf fair warm matte concealer I, as you can see I double prime everything <laughs> Just a dot of that. I'm going to set that right there because I got a feeling like I want to do a cut crease. Like, I don't know why that's like on my brain. We can fake a cut crease. And with this one, you kind of make sure you stay kind of low. Don't go, I, well, I don't go as far up with the light primer. Just make sure I get my lid, I should say, not my transition area. Kind of take it and feather it, like kind of upward, but not like intentionally put it and see that, uh, got some right there. Not intentionally putting a shadow right here where I accidentally just put it at. Okay. Get the sponge, pat it. Okay. Too Faced Better Than Chocolates palette. I'm going to take this brown shade and that's the shade that's going in the crease. I'm going to take it with a square blending brush. I'm sure I just got to wipe it off. Looks like this square. I got all makeup on the mirror. I can't see. All right. And I, I like a square brush anyway, but I really I did a square so I could define. Since I want to do a fake cut crease, <laughs> I just did a square brush so I can really make sure that I'm hitting the crease in the crease only. Not, but not going too down, not going too far up while looking down so I can see my crease. And I'm kind of like dragging it, making a line. Okay, and then take a random blending brush and blend out the top part of this. All right, I used to have a favorite uh, cut crease brush that I could use. I have no idea where it is. So I'm gonna take this random blending brush though. And I'm gonna take the matte cream nude shade and see how that does. You know what cut crease they used to say, you can breathe, you can move, 
You can't breathe. I think those days are over. You just got to fake it. <laughs> I'd rather just have a fake foot crease than not be able to move with a real one. Mm. They don't have to be precise to me. It just has to be, like, defined. I don't think somebody's going to be, like, that into your eye where they, like, Oh, your crease isn't straight. You know what I mean? I don't think they're going to be like that. Take the square brush. Just in case I feel like I went too high, I got the new shade in a restricted area. <laughs> Yeah. Take my LA Girl Concealer with a mirror and three brushes in my hand. That's where women we be multitasking. Men in the morning. They just get up and go, okay, wash their face, get up, put on some lotion, and go. Not women. We gotta, this makes us happy. Some of us putting on makeup and stuff. Take my other brush. I want to blend out this. Ugh. I'm so trying not to waste my powder. For this step, I'm cleaning up underneath my eyebrows as well as if I feel like I went too far up with that transition shade, this is a way for me to kind of clean it up too. Because y'all know I don't like my shadow to go all the way up underneath my eyebrows. This is a kind of way to smooth out the edges. Mm -hmm. It's five in the morning. Did y'all like the BET Awards? I thought they were <laughs> out of a 10. <laughs> out of a 10, I'd probably give it a 5. <laughs> I'd probably give it a 5. I don't know. I know it's a a new generation of music. But I just feel like it's something else other than to talk about than sex, money, shooting people. Like, it's way more to talk about in a song. I just feel like. And I get it. I know that's what sells nowadays, but is it not a whole world with issues going on outside of partying and clubbing and maybe I'm just old. But you could give me some Al Green. Some Marvin Gaye, some Gladys Knight in the pits. <laughs> Any day. Some Miss Aretha Franklin. And Mr. Luther Vandross. Freddie Jackson. Heck, I even take Bobby Brown. And y'all know he was a wild boy. 
over this new stuff. Because I have no idea what they're talking about. It looked like BET was trying to get, like, with the new performance and new people that's out. Because I didn't really see a lot of old artists. It was mainly the new people. And that's fine. But you got to kind of, like, make music that people can feel. Should have been a, a record producer. I'm giving him something he can feel to let him know this love is real. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm giving him something he can feel. Oh. To let him know his love is real. Uh, my nude stick and nude eight. Many say that I'm the love. Don't let you know this man will come and found. Yeah, but you will see. I'm almost out of this. It's just a matter of time. My love will surely make you mine. Well, I <laughs> living in a world of ghetto life. Everyone seems so uptight, but nothing's wrong and nothing's right. It's alright. My man, I like the way you carry on, cause love is machine on and on. My man. People out there can understand. I'm giving him something he can feel. And to let him know this love is real. My love will surely make you mine. That's why I'd be rushing out the door for that reason. <laughs> for this reason right here, because I'm sitting up here singing like I'm in concert and I need to be getting ready to get out the door. Okay, say some Sasha. I'm lightly set this. I'm not going to set all over the face with my no color powder because this 
Y'all know that um, Chanel. If you're a matte girl and you're looking for a very beautiful matte foundation, a luxurious matte foundation, that will be it. All right, some of my, I've been stuck on this, y'all, huh? I'm going to take the top shade today. This one size bronzer. All right, let me throw on some lashes and I'll be back. 20 minutes. All right, guys, I'm going to take some of this Juvia's Place Gloss in Barely There, another stash finder. I mean, we might as well do a new lip. I think the look came together. My sister-in-law put my hair up. Well, she had um, put some braids in the back because I took them, out, took them out. The ones that were in the back that were growing out and um, hanging on. <laughs> so I took them out. So she put them back in there for me. And then she pinned my hair up. I think it is so cute. It's like a braided something, but it is so cute. And I thought I wasn't going to be able to sleep because y'all know I like to be comfortable at night, but I slept fine. I just put a bonnet on it and I slept fine. I think this is so pretty. I love my sister-in-law. My brother really married a beautiful, beautiful person on the inside and the outside. She's like, girl, get out of my house. Cause all you want to do is laugh. Cause that's your, that's my, all your brother, all you and your brother want to do is laugh. <laughs> Y'all don't take nothing serious. <laughs> yeah, we don't. <laughs> she told me, I tell him that all the time. He don't take nothing serious. All he want to do is laugh. Oh, man, that's us. <laughs> All right, guys, this is the completed look. I just really just wanted to do a cut crease today. The rest of the products y'all have seen me use over and over again. But I think the look came together perfectly. So, you know, sometimes you just be wanting to be extra. And today I felt like a cut crease. And this is my definition of a fake cut crease. And I think it came together beautifully so yeah if you enjoyed today's video please give this video a thumbs up it helps my channel out a whole lot and i'm gonna talk to y'all later peace out bye y'all